Next up on with the products that I want to launch for the Jimbo's detailing line are these two samples right here. And I'm going to develop these products right here on YouTube like I did with the Super Soper uh, because I'm trying to let you guys in on a little behind the scenes on uh, just product development. So the greenish yellow one is ready to use. This is a high foam um, sample that I got of a ready to use interior cleaner. Uh, and then the blue one or the teal one is a ready Ready to use but more of a medium foam and so there's a couple ways and different ways that I'm going to kind of try to develop out this product but in this video I wanted to try it on what I call a kind of medium level dirty car in this Tesla Model 3. Before we go on with the video I just wanted to remind you that all the Jimbo's detailing line of products are available now and on Amazon as well and if you head over to jimbosdetailing.com and use code first I'm going to throw in one of these massive drying towels, absolutely for free, a $30 value. So head over and click the link below or purchase on Amazon. I wanna try it on the different parts that you'll see, kind of like the center console, the seats, the dashboard, the door panels, kind of all different areas of the car. Uh, I need to try it on a couple tan mats that will come in a different video. Uh, but what I'm testing out in the just initial testing was I gave um, my chemist just some kind of guidelines of what I wanted for an interior cleaner. Um, I went ready to use because dilutions can get very confusing um, and throw a lot of people off. And so I wanted something that was just very simple. Again, the Jimbo's detailing line of products are detailing products that are simple, simplified, easy to use. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to come up with crazy dilution ratios to make it work. And one thing that I found with All Dressed Up is that most people don't actually like products that they have to dilute. And it creates a whole host of different other issues for me as well of do I send a second bottle with the product? Do I send an, uh, you know, an empty labeled product? It just creates a lot of different things that I don't really want to have to deal with. And so ready to use products are a lot easier to do that. And so uh, off the bat, what I'm looking for is, you know, how, how well do these foam is foaming important? What about foam is important? How well of a cleaner are these actually? So uh, as I clean like the brake pedal and the gas pedal here, um, I want to see, you know, how much agitation is needed to get something like a brake pedal or a gas pedal cleaned. And then little subtle things like, is there residue left over? Does it look streaky when I clean the center console? Is it removing the, um, is it removing not only the, the oils and the, the maybe food spillings, but is it also removing sunscreen, which is like a sneaky hard thing to remove um, or harder to remove? It's really weird how I, I deal with a lot of sunscreen removal, especially on door panels being in Southern California. Um, and so I need a cleaner that's really effective at that. But in using a ready to use or in creating a ready to use product, it's also a delicate dance of I need a cleaner that it can clean the main things, food residue, can clean uh, sunscreen off door panels. But it also needs to be sensitive enough that when we, and this is why I take it over to the Tycon as well, that it can clean something like fingerprints off a nav screen. So finding this really delicate balance between a versi uh, and it being a really versatile cleaner that you can go from heavy stain removal to something like this is a brand new Tycon. Um, it doesn't need a deep cleaning, but it does need a once over kind of like a what some other brands would call an interior detailer. Um, but I want it to work on both nav screens. Um, and I really needed it to leave a matte or OEM finish. I have all dressed up, which is more of a protectant, and if you wanted any shine or gloss. And so I wasn't looking at adding any of that with this product. This is a straight cleaner that needs to leave an OEM finish with no streaks, no residue. I didn't want anything like that. So I was testing for uh, foam, if medium foam or heavy foam. And when I do the brake pedal and the gas pedal, I find that having a higher foam, I like it a little bit better because it sits on the surface a little bit longer. Um, but again, quick and easy application, safe on delicate surfaces. I needed it to be uh, odor neutralizing. So that's another thing that is going to be hard to 
show in a video, but scent. And so if you have any comments on like scents that you particularly like, I think I have one that I really like. I really like this green color. Uh, this green color to me is, is just very unique. Uh, the blue color I think is a little too, uh, close to the toughest shell green. Um, and then I have a son who's colorblind. And so actually a high population of the male, or a high percentage of the male population is actually colorblind too. So that's always something that I tried to factor into my products. It's not the main thing. It's not a major hang up, but I do kind of run it by my son and see if he could tell the difference in colors. Cause a lot of times us as detailers, we just have stuff in different bottles and we tell by the color or scent of it, what it is, not always the label though. I intend for this to always be used with the label. It is something to consider, right? Uh, a couple other, um, as we run through just cleaning these interiors and, and trying different stuff like <clears throat> cleaning um, an already clean carpet, but I want to see the foaming nature of this. How hard is it to get these to foam? This is a brand new carpet. And so, um, but again, just trying the high foam versus medium foam on a lot of the different surfaces in the car. I didn't notice too much of a difference between the medium foam and the high foam. But when I was working on the Tesla, something that required a little bit more scrubbing, a little bit more product, I did tend to like that high foam more than the low foam. But I, again, this is something that I'm looking for feedback from you guys. This is something of why I'm developing it on YouTube um, to, you know, not only pull back the curtain, but also to get feedback on what do you look for in a product? What do you not like of the current products that are out on the surface? So odor neutralizing has to do that. Anti-static has to have some anti-static properties. So on the Tesla, one thing I'm testing, um, this wasn't a, a big factor or a big point that I let the chemist know about, but I do want to see there is a new, uh, a new, uh, polymer if you know, it's kind of a big word that I don't really like, but there is a new part of interior cleaners, a new polymer, I guess you could say that, um, is laid down almost not like an interior ceramic coating, but almost kind of in that same vein where you can lay down not only UV protection, but a little bit of protection that makes it easier. Um, this polymer will lay down on all surfaces and it makes it a little bit easier to clean the next go around. So one thing I want to check for is this anti-static kind of cleaner, uh, easier to clean next time polymer that is in both of these samples, which I think is kind of interesting, very difficult to talk about, very difficult to demo, but I did do, uh, I wiped on the, this interior cleaner on half of the dashboard on the Tesla and then just did a dry dusting, a dry wipe on the driver's side half. And what I'm looking for is like, you know, are the anti-static properties enough or is this polymer enough to show us a difference, basically a 50, 50 shot on the passenger side versus the driver side is one side cleaner than the other in the next couple weeks. Uh, obviously had to be eco-friendly for me and non-greasy was a major thing. Uh, it had to be a non-greasy formula, which it totally is. It does not change the appearance of a f already factory or matte OEM finish, which is why I wanted to try it on this Taycan to see does it, can it remove grease, oil, and dirt buildup, which we saw it can in the Tesla. But if you have a new car and you want to take advantage of, say, this polymer to make it easy to clean, not, again, not a, not laying down a significant amount of protection, just kind of um, uh, enough to maybe make that sunscreen not stick so much next time. Um, uh, and so I wanted to make sure it didn't dry out the surface. So many interior cleaners dry out the surface. And I wanted to make sure, though it was a strong, good cleaner, it wasn't actually drying out the surface either. And of course, I had to have it jam-packed with UV protection, uh, UV rays. This will help prevent fading, cracking of interior surfaces over time. I wanted the leather seats to feel nice and supple, not dried out. I wanted to also, or these are vinyl seats, but whatever, leather seats maybe in the Taycan vinyl and the, in the Tesla. Um, how, but how do they work on these ventilated seats? Um, and then you could see the dramatic change and the dramatic, uh, before and after of stuff like the center console that has a matte, uh, PPF on it, which is interesting. So that was another way that I wanted to try it out, but all these things, many, many factors, this list of, you know, 10 key points that I wanted. 
um, that go into that in conjunction with the, the smell, the look, um, all that. Because interior, you know, scents can get really sideways really quick. So I think I'm going to end up going with the color. I think I have this color nailed down, but the scent and then uh, everything else around it is still uh, to be developed. So make sure you subscribe for more of those videos. I'm going to build this out over the next, I don't know, three or four videos. So just like I did with the Super Soper, which I got you know, a ton of valuable feedback from that. And so I'm going to do the same thing with this cleaner uh, as I build out kind of the label design. I want to share that with you guys as well. I'll probably share that more through Instagram stories, but give me your feedback, please, if you would, and help me develop this interior cleaner. Um, and hopefully within the next month or two, uh, I will have this interior cleaner available for sale, which will be kind of crowdsourced in a way with uh, a lot of feedback from you, my followers and my subscribers and kind of in return, I want to show behind the scenes of it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This I'm already impressed with this first sample, which is I'm very excited about when you get your first couple samples that um, work really well. The next sample I'm getting will have your guys's feedback from this video in it. And it will be, uh, I, because I do like the scent of the blue or teal better. I'm going to have the greenish yellow, uh, high foam, most likely, unless you guys tell me otherwise with the scent of the blue, which is just a really nice fresh smell. Uh, I think the blue currently is a little bit more of like a baby powder and I just, I like it. I'm just worried about hot days and really hot interiors. It may be weird. Um, so I got to test that out as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, yeah, more to come. Make sure you subscribe. And when I do have additional videos on this, I will make sure to link it below. But in the meantime, if you want to see kind of what this series will look like, uh, I did it with the Super Soper and I have six videos on that. I'll start to link those below as well. And of course, thank you always for supporting the Jimbo's Detailing brand. I'm excited to add this one to it. And then I'll probably be done for a while with liquids in a bottle. I think I've built out a pretty nice core set of products. And again, my approach is definitely going to be more of the In-N-Out Burger limited, uh, just effective, more so than, say, the McDonald's approach that a lot of other brands uh, take. I just want simple products that are effective, and I don't need redundancy. Um, and so, yeah, all that and more coming up. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.